stampers and welcome to Laura's stamp pad. I've had a request to do this fabulous little lion card and do a little tutorial on that to show you how I created those adorable little lions. So let's get started. What you'll see first is that I used a couple different punches to get it. The blossom punch, the owl builder punch, the three quarters inch circle punch and the one and three eighths circle punch. And you can use a various amount of different colors. I used pumpkin pie for the one little lion. So the one little lion here uses pumpkin pie and you need two blossoms for every uh, face there for the mane and everything. And then for the other one I used Hello Honey which is the new in color. And then I also used uh, So Saffron for the face. So the little circles, the one and three eighths, and you'll need two of the three quarter inch circles. And then you need the little owl builder punch for the little heart. So it's the little heart that you see up here. And that I used for his little nose. So you can see the little nose kind of peeking out there. And so that's what you use the Owl Builder Punch for. And that I just used in real red cardstock. I then punched another uh, blossom in the Sew Saffron. And that's because I'm actually going to make the little feet with that. So I'm just going to take my paper snips and I'm going to cut two petals. And it doesn't really matter that you have an exact uh, amount of cardstock on the inside, just enough to be able to adhere it underneath. And since I'm making two little lions, then I'm going to pull two of these out. So there I have my two little feet, and you can see the little feet down there at the bottom um, that are poking out, and that's just two of the petals from the Blossom Punch. So first I'm going to actually use my fringe scissors and the one little trick that I have for this is go in just a little bit. So I don't know how much you can see that, how far in I'm going, but just a little bit. I would say that is maybe a half to three quarters of an inch. And you can see there how fringy it is because if you go in a lot on all of them, you can also go in a lot on some and out on some other ones, but if you go in a lot, I'll show you, see how he just popped off? He was right, right there in that groove, and because I went in too far with both of them, he ended up falling out. It's not a big deal, but if you do that on all of your petals, you're going to end up with a lot less uh, of a full mane there. So I'm just going to go around on all of those, and again on all of them. And now I have all of my little fringe pieces there, and then I guess I'll, I, you won't actually do it to the feet because those aren't going to be fringy. He has enough toes with just those few there. You don't need to add some more. Then I took my new in color Hello Honey and brushed the edges with one of my sponge daubers. So I did that on all of my edges. So I did it on all the edges of the main. And you'll see it almost gives like a brown look, which I think might have confused many people looking at the pictures when I said I sponge daubered the edges with Hello Honey. They probably said, that's not Hello Honey, that looks like baked brown sugar or something because it kind of comes out a little brown. So you just do all the edges of the main and then you'll also do all of the edges of the circles. This is the face circle. And then where's my little cheeks? I love sponge daubers. They're the greatest thing ever. There's my little cheeks. And then also for my little cheeks, I'm going to pull in my chocolate chip marker. And using the pen tip, I'm just going to do three little dots and then three little swooshes. So you'll see how I did three little dots. And I kind of do them in like a little triangle pattern. One, two, three and then little swishes, and then you'll do that again to the other one, but make sure your little swishes go the opposite direction, or otherwise both of his whiskers will be going to the right or to the left. So see, there's how you get those. And I assembled those with Stampin' Dimensionals, of course. Needed a little bit of dimension for my little lion. So I just added the circle there. That's the one and three eighths circle that I brushed the edges. And then here, you're going to want to offset your little petals. Oh, I didn't finish brushing the edges of this one. 
you just want to offset those petals for a nice full mane there on your little lion. And if you have one that you prefer a little bit better than the other because some petals fell off, like this one, my petals fell off there. So I'm going to put that one on the back side. And you can either uh, adhere these together with snail or you can do them with dimensionals, which will give a little bit more of a fuller mane and it'll give a little bit more texture and dimension to your lion. But I'm just going to go ahead and use snail and add a little there and offset those. And then I'm going to take my two little cheekies and add dimensionals to the back. I find the little backs of dimensionals all over my house in places that I don't even feel like I go or I definitely don't go with my craft stuff so I'm confused at why they're there but they must stick on me. So I'm just going to add those two and then I actually used a little bit of my Tombow adhesive to do the little bitty heart because snail on that little bitty thing would be too difficult to try to figure out. So I just add a little bit of that, sneak it down a little bit underneath those cheekies, and then I took some googly eyes and gave my little lion some life. I love how the little googly eyes just take it from like a little lion to like a real little lion. How cute is he? Is it, oh wait, I forgot his feet, oh no. So I also did a little sponge daubering on his feet. Of course he's not real. Just because he has eyeballs, he still has no feet. So I'm just going to take a little bit of snail adhesive and there you have your little lion. Isn't he cute? Let me bring back the original sample. And again, I did uh, pumpkin pie with this one, and then I stuck with the Hello Honey with that one. So saffron for all the extras. I also did pear pizzazz here at the bottom for my little fringe grass, too. And then the greeting is from Remembering Your Birthday. So how cute is that? A few little punches, and you can create this adorable little lion. Be sure to check out my blog for more pictures at laurastamppad.com. And of course, if you have any requests, let me know, because this one is requested by a fabulous Stampin' Up! Flop follower of mine. So let me know if you have anything else and until next time, happy stamping!